Treat mo lang as a point. So M let so M1 is a point. Yun naman yung ano diyan eh, yung i-abstract mo yung system to to points. Eh. So T1 So substitute your values. simple yung, <coughs> yung system method. So, Hello. 
last promo ko is 97 po. Kaya, yeah. sino ko tungo na? Sorry, I'm going to be free to buy diagram M4 and then T5. Okay, and then finally, your M5 is T5 up, M5 <coughs> G down. Okay, so. So basically, it's the third one. So T5 Sig Figma. So, yeah, check ko lang yun. 78 yung T1. Teka, yung T... Pwede patingin na ano, nasa taas. Sandali lang. Yung T2 should be... Okay, 44. Sige. So, okay na. So, T4... Thank you. 
Okay, sige. Tapos, T4. Okay, 54. Oh, sige. Yung next. So, we're done with 93. Yung 95. 5-12. 5-12. Open lang natin yung question. 5. Then, figure 5 dash 12. Saan niya? system. So, figure 5 for the uh, Nasa page 108 ng PDF. Ah, sorry, 134 pala. So yung 5-12 yung nasa nasa kan, nasa low nasa kanan ah kaliwa Tapos baba 5 ah ah ito dumo Okay Seven block S So so There's no clue you had to put that problem board. Referencing 5.12 near the very end. Mm -hmm. Ah, kaya naman ganyan yan kasi nagdidipid siya sa, sa space eh. Uh, 
Just imagine largest isolation, no? Thank you. 
So Teka, ano yung conven ano yung sign conventions mo? Ganto mo. Kaba yung Okay, plus y. Okay, tapos sa taas, yun yung, yung positive direction. Sige. Nagmakulang po parang pa-follow itong fully po. Sige. Hindi mo po yung mas pwede infinite na lang. Para hindi na lang mabuksak sa kagad. Hmm. Or, baka yun. Ano bang hinaha? Ano bang hinaha? Ganito. Pakihighlight ano yung known at ano yung unknown. Hmm. Known po lahat. Uh, teka. Patapas daw po ito. Okay, so yung mga unknowns, ano? Mm. Okay, highlight. Unknowns? Ah, uh, ito ha. Okay. Ganyan ito. Uh, Basahin mo yung problem. Ano ba yung tinatanong? Mas daw po of the hanging block para ma-maximize. Uh, so ilang possibilities sa ba ang meron? Oh, okay. So, hindi na sinabi po explicitly. So, ano so, daw? So, pwedeng, pwedeng yung 2 kg mass yung nandiyan sa yung nakahang? Or pwedeng yung 4? So, kailangan mo decide. Ano dapat ang isabit mo dyan? Tapos, ano yung iiwan mo dun sa frictionless surface para largest yung acceleration na pwedeng mangyari? I mean, intuitively po, dapat itong bigger para... Mabilis yung, ano na, yung gravity, yung atagan, yung tension mo. So, so yung hanging, dapat yung? So, uh, ano na, M equals. Hindi, okay, ganito. Solve for, ano, wag mo, click mo muna as variables yung M, small m at saka big m. Kasi ang gagawin natin, mag-substitute naman tayo at the end, di ba? So, ang mga unknowns talaga dyan, Noon kasi ano eh, ang, ang mangyayari, mag-substitute tayo yung small, ng values for small m and big m and decide yung combination ba na small m equals 4, big m ah, is okay. equal to 2, Dalawa or naman. small m is equal to, di ba? So, so ang mga unknowns talaga dyan, yung tension at Dalawa yung acceleration. And then we think of two cases. So find an expression for the tension. Find an, ex an expression for the acceleration in terms of the masses. Okay, ngayon, 
So small mg divided by the sum. Yeah, but but can you units? Ah, okay, na yun yung g. Sige, ngayon, kailangan mong mag-decide. Ano yung ilalagay mo as small m? Ano yung ilalagay mo as big m? Para max, largest possible value. Okay, ano yung makukuha mong a? 2, 6. So, ano daw, 1 third. Yeah. Bakit, a, ano yung 9 over 3 na yan? G over 3. G, G over 3. Okay, okay. tas yung other possibility ay if M is equal to 4 Dapat gawin ko bang masa na to? Parang mas ganun. Ganun. Okay. Mm-hmm. And more for more. Four over six for it. Okay, four over six. Chamber. So apparently mga po the acceleration is twice. That four over three. Ayan, so solve na po yung A and B. So your acceleration is going to be so, for letter A, na have na natin ng 6.5 meters per second square. And it happens kapag small m is equal to 4 kilograms. Okay, yung C and D naman. Yung C naman. What is the tension in the port? Okay, 13 newtons. Sige. Yung last question dito, yung 97. 7. Ito. Hindi na po yung problem. Ito yung bago page. New page. Small yourself. Okay. Thank you. 
So Wait. Ah, so I'm going to put my new account to my new one. Yes. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Why not in this one? I know, parang I had. Why not in this lang ganun para hindi sa gamot. Na, ah, yun yung standard deviation. Eh. Sayang. Yung ibang ginagamit, X hat, Y hat. Instead of I hat, J hat. So, sa so Griffiths, X hat, Y, X hat, Y hat, Z hat, yan. Ang ano pala po, pag, pag may, may ano po, three dimensions, K mo, pero pag four dimensions, L? Pag four dimensions, halos wala, wala na ako nakikita na gumagamit ng unit vector notation eh. Ano, meron. Pero ang ginagamit nila ay E. E hat 1, E hat 2, E hat 3. Tapos E hat something. Kasi may iba gusto yung time yung 0. Yung iba gusto yung time yung yung 4. Na subscript. Mabo pala. So, Two over one, go haha. Oh, no, but negative. Oh, yeah, the smart one, I tell you, the next seven. Okay, okay. Two point two over from my end from this one. Okay. 
one kilogram, okay. More space. More space. Okay, and then new angle. No oscillation. Oh, where did I put that there? Oh, the lamp. Mm, I think I can do it the lazy way. Ah, uh, no more. Para naman sa four, so a. Still a. Put that as still negative six to six. Do not change. So same direction as the net force. No more, no more. Hmm. Ayun. Okay. So, yung next ito. Usapan lang natin yung friction. So, okay na yan. Nabasa mo na ba yung next section or hindi pa? Next chapter mo? Yes. Nabasa ko na mo. O, oh, sige. Share ko lang yung screen ko para, ano, para uh, mapag-usapan lang natin yung main points ng friction. So, kasi ito yung ano eh, usually ito yung trap for a lot of people eh. Kaya, share na mo yung screen ko? Uh, screen na mo? Hindi pa mo? Hindi pa. Okay, sige. Share screen. Ito, screen one. Ayan. Okay, so may dalawang, at least yung, yung the way to deal with friction, yung the engineer's way, kasi walang, wala tayong first principles method for calculating these things, is to think of friction as being either static or kinetic. So ito, yung coefficient of static friction. Tapos mag-uusapan natin kung ano-ano yung rules nila. Tapos, ito naman yung coefficient of kinetic friction. So, yung subscript K. Okay. Versus S. Friction is a force that impedes the sliding of two surfaces in contact. So, tingnan natin how it works out. So, for example, ganito, meron tayong flat surface. Tapos, we'll examine muna anong effect ng coefficient of static friction. So, Let's say yung mass, let's say, uh, ano to, let's say this is a one kilogram mass. Para madali. So, ano na yung forces? We have, first, may normal force, which is from the floor. Tapos, meron ding mg. Ngayon, what if nag-apply ako ng F applied? Let's say nag-apply ako dito ng force na 5 newtons. And we know there's going to be friction. Okay, so what kind of friction is it? At ano yung value? Uh, so, assume the block is initially at rest. Static na po yun. Okay, static friction. Ngayon, ano yung value ng static friction? Uh, ano po yung, ano, yung coefficient mo? So, let's say ang coefficient of friction ay... Uh, 0.20, mga ganun mo? Sorry, pa ito ko yung values. Mas maganda yung 
Gawin ko muna ng 1 Newton para mas simple. So, and then I'm going to change yung mass ng block to 10 kilograms. I think para mas maganda yung numbers. Okay, so assume natin na yung coefficient of static friction ay 0.1. So, any value, any friction, Jen? Ah, uh, yung coefficient po times normal force. So, ano daw normal force? 10 kilograms, 9.8. Okay, so let's compute a few things. Yung nor any normal force dito? Mm, negative mg. Ah, uh, wait lang mo. So, Ay, so 10 times 9.8. Meter, tapos meters, newtons, di ba? Okay. So that's going that's going to give us our 98 newtons. So that's a normal force. Ngayon, compute natin yung mu s and f. That's going to be 9.8 newtons. Okay, so first question. So I've computed these things. Ano yung frictional force pag ganyan? So I push the block with a force of 1 newton. What's the friction? 9.8 newtons. It means the block does not move po. Pwede uh, Sorry, ano ulit? 9.8 newtons po. Uh, 9.8 ah. newtons. Abo. Yung friction. Abo. Teka, tingnan natin kung ano yung, kung ano yung conclusion, kung ano yung sinasabi ng conclusion mo. If the friction is 9.8 newtons, tapos ang, up, ang applied force, I'm pushing this with 1 newton, anong dapat yung acceleration? Oh, okay, so the acceleration. Or net force? The acceleration po should be negative. So weird, I push ah, it forward. Okay. Alam ko na po, yung ma maximum friction lang po yun. It's not really the real friction. Okay, so for this situation, ano dapat yung friction? 1 newton lang po. So friction is 1 newton. And it's going to be less than 9.8 newtons. Or, the frictional force is less than mu s and f. Ano pala po, pag kami, let's say po, di ba po yung, mga, yung friction daw, sinasabi? May mga, yung mga molecules, para may mga jagged and fractal, fractal areas nga po. So, this, they, they, they don't, they don't uh, slide efficiently. So, kung i-flatten na po yung mga areas na yun, say by applying load onto the object. So, di ba po para mag-squish yung mga interstices? Na Actually, yung, Actually, yung ano dyan ay, wala talagang, walang maayos sa microscopic theory of friction. Kasi, masyad, ano yan eh? When you think about ano ano forces involved pag microscopic na electricity and magnetism na yun eh. And then yung scale microscopic na rin, di ba? Kung ano if we're thinking of forces between molecules and atoms, kailangan mo na rin ng quantum mechanics na eh. Which means hindi kakayanin yung yung Newtonian model nagfi-fail na rin doon. So, ang ginagawa ng mga tao, okay, friction is too complicated. But for many situations, yung idea ng static friction at saka kinetic friction, they work. Tapos, and then we just measure yung mga coefficients na yan. Tabo. Pero, pero yun nga po, if you apply load po, let's say, on a surface, tapos na talagang, lo-load nyo po talaga yung let's say, surface para talaga mas squish yung mga interstices. Will it reduce the friction to a significant amount mo? Yeah, sige, tingnan natin yung ano. Dito, di ba? Ano ba yung effect nung ano, ng normal force? Di ba yung, if you apply a load, sige, let's say ganito, same situation. M is 10 kilograms. Tapos, nag-apply ako ng load. So, ibig sabihin, yung may isang applied force na assume na natin, so meron tayong mg, and then may applied force na number 2, 
na 10 newtons din. Ano normal force? Mas madalas po. So, anong value? Basta, ano mo, so 9.8, tapos ang may dagdag pa na 10, so 19. Tiga, all this F applied to, tiga, okay. 2 applied 1, tapos same force pa rin, no? Amo. 1 newton. So, ano effect niyan sa ano? So, ang normal force is going to be? 108 newtons, 10 plus ano mo, 98. Okay, so 110 plus 98 or 108, 108 newtons. Ano effect niya sa mu s n f? Lalaki po yung ano niya. Uh, lalaki po yung maximum friction. Okay, so one, so uh, ano yun? Normal force is 98, so that means 108 times 0.1. For this situation, ang mu s n f is 10.8. So, ito, yung mu s n f is the maximum friction, maximum force you need to apply para mag-stop yung static friction. O, yung, minim, yung minimum force needed. Kasi dito, for example, nag-apply ako ng 1 newton. Ano yung friction? Mm, 1 newton. Uh, 1 newton pa rin ba? 1 newton pa rin. And it's going to be less than mu s n f. Ah, okay. So, applying a downward force will just increase the min the minimum the minimum force you need para mag-slide siya. Tomo. Pero inisip ko naman po, let's say, ah, tama pala. Pag ano, may load po, hindi po siya mag ano na. Pero kung... Mas, mas mahirap ipaslide pag may load. Pero kung nasa ipo, inisip ko nga po yung microscopic, kung talagang i-load po talaga siya, tapos ang tatanggalin na po yung load ngayon, will it flatten significantly to reduce the friction? Depends sa surface eh. Mm. Tapos, diba, at saka ano kasi, diba, yung, yung nakikita natin na surfaces that look flat, on a microscopic scale, hindi naman talaga sila flat eh. So, may, it's, it's uh, negligible po if, if we can flatten those surfaces. It will be negligible to the ano, friction. By, ano? Hindi. I think, ano, hindi, at, at this stage, hindi, hindi pa natin kaya control yun. Uh, yun okay. yung guess ko. So, if you flatten it, I think hindi pa rin, kasi electrostatic forces pa rin yun, eh. Hmm. Uh, para it will in, in fact increase the ano po the surface area baka hindi kaya po mag increase nga yung ano friction actually kung mag increase nga pag uh, mas marami pong dispersion forces mag increase pala yung hindi, kung, kapag naka no pag perfectly flat tapos merong hindi ko alam pa paano mag average out yan eh so i'm going to leave it as a, as a question mark mm no bo So, Kasi mag, uh, mag-assume tayo or as, instead of assuming anything. Tabo. Ano rin kasi, hard problems yan eh. Yung, yung ano, yung, yung a fundamental theory of friction is considered one of a hard problem. Tabo. Yung how do you calculate the friction. Yung, for example, how do you calculate from first principles on yung mu s? Mu k. Ano yata po siya na? Experimental lang mo. Oh, theory. experimental lahat yan. Hindi siya... Theoretical. Hindi siya... From, from fundamental principles. Mm. Hindi siya tulad nung... Yung forces nung... Between the electron and... The proton sa isang hydrogen atom. Yun, kinakaigalit yun from first principles. Okay. Ito, hindi. Kasi... I think yun eh, nagpapahirap dyan yung fact na kung gusto mong i-calculate yan from first principles, you, you're, you have to deal with a large number of of atoms or molecules. Gano'ng karami, yung, ilang, ilang atoms or molecules yan? Gano'ng karami ba yung Avogadro's number? 
Six times 10 to the 23. Diba? Oh, no. So, accounting for forces from all of those, mahirap siya. May mga ano, may mga techniques yung mga nag-solid state for dealing with with that. Pero malami, malami approximations sa ganang involved eh. Malami mga ideal, idealizations. Okay, so ito. So yung mu SNF is just there to determine kung is, is the force that you're using enough to make it slide or not? Yung frictional force, i-co-compute mo siya from ano ba applied forces? Ano ba needed force para hindi siya mag-slide? Yan yung friction. Upper limit lang siya. So ito, this this is the upper limit. Ah, tsaka ano pala po? Last question po. Kung ano pala, Let's say, same material po siya, 100% pure, o kaya alam niyo po yung alloy. Tapos alam niyo po yung theoretical na ano na dapat. Yung, let's say, mu S na po. Yung static, yung static uh, friction coefficient po na experimentally obtained. Kung ma-measure niyo po yung friction using, let's say, sa, some sort of apparatus po to measure yung friction, is it possible to parang approximate po the, the surface roughness? Hindi ko alam. Again, yung complicated problem siya eh. Ito po. Mga, ano po, mga molecules na po. Going, if you go to the, kaya yung mga ano, kaya may chemistry kasi, mahirap naman tayo mag-compute ng many body properties eh. So, ang nangyayari, kaya, may, yung ano, isang view ng, may, yung may, may physicist na ang claim ay may hierarchy of theories na it works for this regime and then kailangan, kailangan natin ng, phenom, ng antang ito, yung phenomenological theories for other regimes kasi hindi, hindi tayo na kaya compute Parang in principle nakalagay, okay, ito yung fundamental laws na substrate. Pero yung calculate, for example, gusto mong mag-calculate ng, ng, chemical, ng chemical properties ng isang ng kasi yung isang liquid starting from yung, yung standard model, malabo. Kahit nga yan eh, kahit nga yung starting from Schrodinger's equation eh, at end yung assumption lang, okay, protons and protons, neutrons, and electrons lang yung gagamitin natin. Hindi pa rin ano eh. Hindi pa rin doable. So, so may ano, may, kaya may sense na ano eh, kaya yung, I think yung, kaya may mga disciplines na gana, Okay, so physics, we will focus on this. If the, if sa sub-discipline na ito, ito yung focus namin. Kasi, hindi talaga yung, yung idea na you can derive everything by mathematical reasoning from the fundamental laws of physics. Hindi talaga siya doable in practice eh. I don't know kung may, if it's going to be doable ever. Okay. Yung, magsimula ka sa Dirac equation and then calculate mo static friction. So, yung mga ano yan, sequence of, si Dirac, ang claim, ang tingin niya, sequence of, appro- na, yung mga theories natin ay approximations. na ang importante alam lang natin, ano yung date, kailan siya valid, kailan mo siya magagamit, kailan hindi. So, yung mga ano, di ba, so far yung mga nakikita natin yung mga the- na theories of physics ay the physics of single particles, point particles. Tapos ina-apply natin sa mga extended objects. Di ba medyo weird yun? Ah, parang 
yung effect of it. Kita mo sa mga as a particle. Oh, we're treating it as, as a single particle. Pero it we get, di ba, we get computable results that we can compare with experiment. And for many situations, it works. Pero, may, may, may times na nag-fail yan. So, yung mga tao, kailangan, okay, hindi na, hindi na pwede yung point particle method for dealing with objects. We have to we have to deal with you know, with the fact that may extension sila. Kaya yun, ah, yung sa later part nung classical mechanics natin, may ano yan eh, may part na rigid bodies na eh. So it's the next step. Now, what if extended the object na rigid? Tapos, may konting yung sa Rustic Aldean Walker at saka sa, sa Young and Friedman, meron silang paano pag nagdi-deform na yung object? Ah, uh, stress po. Oh, di ba? May mga may Young's modulus, may st- or tapos may stress tensor eventually. These things can be studied in different degrees of sophistication depending on ano yung kailangan. Some people will spend their lives just studying the physics of fluids. Yung, yung ano, exa- yung example niyan, yung mga, yung meteorologists. When you think about it, ang, ang pinaka, ano, ang specialty na ipag-alala niyo yung the flow of fluids, whether it's wind or water. Ano ba po yan? Vector, vector map ba po yan? Parang yung mga... Yun na. Yung sa meteorology po, yung ginagamit nila. Parang mga maraming maraming vectors. Ang tawag sa ganun, ang tawag sa mga... Ano yan eh? Depende kasi sa ano yung model mo. Ang pressure, it's treated as a scalar. A function of position siya. Yung velocity ng wind, vector siya. Tapos, ang tawag sa mga ganun, vector fields. Ayun, field nga po. Kasi, ang, ang idea behind vector fields is, we will associate a vector at every point. Para pag sinabi, okay, ano yung velocity ng wind in this block, small block? Pwede mong i-average out yun over that small, small block. Para, may, para meaningful yung question, ano yung wind speed? At hindi lang, hindi lang yan, di ba? Pati yung sa, yung ocean waves. Yung the flow of, the flow of the ocean. Panay fluid, panay fluid dynamics questions siya eh. Yung ano, yung, yung introductory physics, ang goal lang yan ay to give you enough information so that you can start investigating in more depth yung other things. Kasi, ano yun, may situations na yung methods ng introductory physics okay na. May situations na kailangan mo ng additional methods and more depth to deal with yung mga, yung mga situations na may encounter mo sa profession. So, ito, ano, so, ito, yung Pero at kahit na ito pa lang, ang dami ng ano yun, dami ng applications eh. Yung, for example, yung stopping distance. Kung ba, kasi experimentally measured yan eh. So, ano ba yung mga effects niya? Yung mu is, how do cars stop? Anong, anong friction yung ginagamit nila? Kinetic. Static or kinetic? Kinetic mo. In motion. And hindi. Actually, yung, if, if a car, if you're doing your driving right, yung frictional force should be static. So, hindi na pa po yung parang, mm, tapos hindi na mag-break po kayo. Yan eh. Ano yan, yan eh. Yung, yung idea kasi, ganito, may wheel. Tapos ang tanong, nagsaslide ba yung wheel sa, sa ground o hindi? Ah, okay. So, the wheel does not actually slide. It's just rolling. So, parang, rolling friction po is actually static. 
Oh, static friction siya. Kasi there's no relative motion between the point of contact and the ground. So, may yung kinetic lang po siya kung nag-skid po kayo somehow. Yes. Mm. Kaya ano yun eh. Kaya yung... So, skidding is an example of kinetic friction in action. Yung ordinary braking and accelerating... If you're doing it right, static friction yan. Actually, an, malami ano eh, yung yung kaya nga ano eh, kaya nga importante na hindi ka nagsiskid kasi yung most of the pollutants in most of the if I remember, yung most of the pollutants in the ocean na galing sa plastics and ano, mostly rubber tires eh. Galing sa ano? Galing sa Di ba, pag nagda-drive, nag-wear out yung mga, ano, yung mga tires. Kasi, friction. Hindi ko sa friction. And that wearing out happens kapag, you should, mas likely na mangyari yun kapag nagsiskid. Kasi, nag-iiwan ka, pag nag-skid, nag-iiwan ka. May, di ba, kaya may skid marks? Oo. Nag-iiwan ka ng material on the surface, eh. Kung hindi ka nagsiskid, mas konti. Kasi, Okay, nagdi-degrade yung rubber. So, may mga nag-flake off eventually. Pero it's worse kapag nagsiskid. Kasi mas mabilis, magta- mas mabilis na nakakalbo yung tires ng, ng kotse mo. Okay, so yun yun. Ah. Yun lang naman yung... So yung caution dito sa static friction, it tells you ano yung maximum static friction na possible. So, you always compute. So, ang nangyayari, if you're doing something like this, pag nag-analyze ka ng isang friction problem, we calculate yung friction pa rin using Newton's second law. And then, ask ourselves, okay, pag, para hindi mag-slide, ano yung friction? And then, we compare, we, and then, after that, we compare it with mu S and F. Is it a viable friction, uh, static friction? Or lagpas na? Which means, kailangan natin i-analyze in terms of kinetic friction. Okay, so that's for static friction. Yung sa kinetic, mas simple siya. Kasi pag nagsaslide na, it's going to be mu k times the normal force. Ito yung sa kinetic. Okay, I'm going to give a problem na, ano, example problem. May isang... may block kinihila siya with a force of uh, 10 newtons ang mass ng block ay uh, 1 kilogram tapos sa ibabaw may, may block na ang mass ay may gawin natin 3 Parang, ano, 3 kilograms ito 1 kilogram the two blocks are in contact. Yung, static, yung coefficient of static friction niya ay 0.1 tapos yung coefficient of kinetic friction niya ay 0.09. Uh, Ito nga po, if, if the top block was staying on the bottom block, parang gano'n. Oh. So, so ang ano niyan, okay, so I'm going to pull it with gusto kong i-vary yung forces. So, let's say 1 newton, 1 newton muna to. Ano yung magiging acceleration? Ano yung mangyayari? Will the block on top slide? Or will it stay? Or will it move with the bottom block? Ah, importante pa lang ako yan. Kasi kung may flat, no, may flat bed na train siguro. Kung ano ba yung kailangan lang na, no, pwede, pwede lang na speed niya. Okay. Okay. Tapos assume na natin para hindi magulo na frictionless yung ground. Bro. So, by zero line. Ay, tama. One no frictionless pala po. So, 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 one newton din. Na acceleration, na acceleration. One over. Okay, acceleration, one third. 
Okay, so, o oh, sige, gusto mong isubukan muna? Sige mo. So, ano daw? Uh... Sige, share kung, so, pwedeng pa-share muna ng screen. Share the screen. Okay. Yeah. Tapos, para lang, ano, i-screenshot ko at i-send. Ayan. Kaya, kakasend lang. Ayan. Siyempre, assume natin na level ground, ganyan. Kasi, siyempre, pag hindi, di ba? Magbulo yun. So, something simple like that. So, therefore, a one-third meter per second squared. Teka, pakipakita paano mo kinumpit yung acceleration? So, kung dahil dito, ah, uh, ba? Okay, so... So, yung first na assumption mo dyan, assume no sliding. So, so assume the the block on top does not slide. Kasi, para ma-analyze natin, ano yung friction acting on mass 2? And then... So, static friction mo. So, static mo. Ah. Ano ba ito? Kiyata ito eh. Ano po yung ano niya? So, theoretically po, ano po yung ano niya? Static friction. Yung coefficient of static friction is uh, assumed to be 0.1. Sige po. So, so, um, uh, ay, yung normal force pala. Uh, G lang. So, no, N, F. Ay, F and is equal to G. So, dapat, does it matter? Ay, hmm. Yes. Okay. So, ano mo? So, hmm. Max. Hindi ko nga si Max. Para mo. So, but ito. Ah, uh, So ah so it slides. Okay. Yan yung ano ah. Yan yung, yan yung uh, so 0.98 newtons that's mu s and f, di ba? Or mu s times the normal force. Ngayon, dito, i-assume natin na check, try mo natin. Ano ba yung friction acting on for the, ano ba yung forces acting on M2? M1, so, M1. I think for dito, pwede mong ignore yung M1. So, 4. Tapos, check natin yung acceleration. I think parang mali yung acceleration mo. Kasi... So, kaya gusto mo ipakompute yan eh. Okay, wait. Saan naka-attach yung tali? Sa M1 po. Free body diagram yan ng ano? Ay, M2. So, technically, there's no actual force. Wow. Okay. So, ano yung forces act? So, ano yung forces? Ano yung forces acting on M2? 
nothing actually if i don't kung wala pong ano kung walang ba- teh kung walang horizontal forces acting on m2 ano mangyayari pag hinila mo yung nasa ilalim it will just stay put ah static friction tama ah wait so in mm-hmm. what direction in what direction it's gore naman i think sure dito na lang assume na lang Kasi okay, kung... kung ganyan yung direction ng static friction, wala ibang forces na horizontal, di ba? No, so, hini- hinila ko yung nasa ilalim. Ma- ano yun? Mag-accelerate yung top block backwards? Hindi nga dapat po eh. Kaya hindi ko alam yung ano niya. Uh, hindi nga po siya mag-accelerate backwards. It will just fall down. Okay, ito. Isipin, isipin mo, kung ikaw yung nakatayo sa ibabaw ng floor, ng, di ba, nasa, let's say, nasa ka ng train, hindi nakakapit sa bars. Why is it na you're accelerating with the train? What is pushing you forward? The floor. Oh my gosh. Okay, the floor. So, the floor. The is acting on you. So, it's pushing the box here. Okay, and that's going to be friction. Galing, no? Yung boy yung ano, mind blown. So, uh, so, F, ano pa ito? F static, kasi hindi gumagalaw. Um, Or, hindi, dahil hindi siya nagsaslide. No, mo. So, static static friction yung assumption dyan. Okay, so, ano yung dapat yung magnitude ng static friction? Um, So, ganito. Treat mo sa whole system yung M1 plus M2. M1 plus M2. I, I think, it, hindi, sorry. Treat mo, ganito. Free body diagram for M1. So, meron na tayong, ano, no? Free body diagram for M2. So, M1 naman. Uh, use a different symbol. So, M... Wait. Hindi siya M1G. Ah, hindi siya M2G pala. I think mas maganda isipin mo na ano. Uh, ganito, yung FN1, ano ba yung third low pair, ka-third low pair niya? M1G po. Hindi. Uh, yung FN1. Ah, MG po. What's, what's causing that, nor- what's what's pushing the mass 2 up? Ah, uh, M1 po. So, therefore, if FN1 is the force acting on M2 from M1, ang, from Newton's third law, dapat sa yung M1, merong... Meron, ah, oh, okay. So, kung ano pala, so, Fn1, pataas. It's pushing so, against... Teka. So, dapat sa free body diagram, diagram nung, M, nung second ng M1, meron ding Fn1, pero downwards. Hindi, mm-hmm. tama yan. Yung FN2. Kasi, uh, FN2 yan. Ay, makasa na. FN1. Kasi, yung FN2 naman, anong, ano, yung, ano yung tumutulak sa M1 pataas? The ground. The, gra- the floor, di ba? Omo. So, kaya may FN2 dyan. Tapos, yung FN1 is the downward force from mass 2. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Pwede ba re-share ng screen? Oh, no. Sa, sa, sa. Means wrapped. Okay. I think, ano, mas, so, pwede, uh, di ba, notes mo rin yan, eh. So, ang, i- 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 describe in words ano yung FN1. Uh, write it down. In, 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 in what's causing it. Uh-huh. 
So, Fn1. Blah, blah, blah. So, ganyan lang. Isang ito lang po siya. Is... The force exerted so, by... by... One... M2 in in what direction? Upward. Okay. UFS. Ano kaya yun? How is it related to? So FS is the force. Two in in what direction? In the direction it's moving. Uh, right marks ba or ano po? Parang sasabihin ko ba in, or kasabay na yung M1? Hindi. Kasi diba yung, yung FS, that's the static friction acting on M, M2 due to M1. So, uh, to the right. Yeah. And it's also it is also called the static friction. Also known as or parenthesis mo lang. All it's open parenthesis aka. The static friction. Acting on M2. Okay. Assuming, di ba, na hindi sliding. Ngayon. So, yung MG, M1G is going to be, uh, M2G is the weight. of M2. So, it's a downward force from... Yeah. Okay. So, ngayon, tingnan natin yung, ano, yung second free body diagram. So, ibaba mo pa ng konti kasi kulang pa yan. Actually. Ngayon, tingnan natin yung, ano, yung forces Fn1. Tingnan mo, tingnan, so, tingnan natin FN1. FN1, diba? So, alam natin from Newton's third law. So. FN1 is... The force exerted by M2 to M1 downwards. Diba? And then... So, from Newton's third law, kaya FN1, FN1 din yan. Yung FN2, is the upward force. Okay, is it to M1. Okay, sige. Well, dahil wala naman friction, so yan lang talaga yun. Tapos, yung M1, yung M1G is the weight. Of M1. Okay, ngayon, check natin yung lahat ng forces. Lahat ba may ka Newton's myth ka third, may ka third law na pair? Okay. Tapos yung yung okay, oh. meron. So, alam na yun sa acting on the ground. Yung M1G, yung ka-third law niya, nag act on the whole earth. M2G, ganun din. Yung ka-third law niya, acting on the whole earth. Yung FS, tingnan mo. Oh! Yung, so, meron po siyang something is going on with M1. FS is, act, is being acted upon it. Yes. So, kasi ganito. Uh, 
the force is may pa ganito siya magaling din. Di ba? Yun yung it's, it's, yun yung ka-third low pair. So, dapat may FS. Okay, so i-label mo rin dyan. FS in the in the second diagram. So, FS is the force exerted by Okay, to the left. Lagay mo na na, ano, ilibala natin niya, is the frictional force. Para mas, is the frictional force exerted by M1, M2 to M1 to the left. And then same thing yung nasa taas. Yung FS is the frictional force. So the reason you can get away with using the same label is Newton's third law. Kasi kung walang Newton's third law, yung frictional forces niyan, di na iba yung issue na equal. Di ba? So, okay. Are all, do all forces have third law partners? Yes, omo. Kasi yung R2 so, okay na. Do anything. Di ba? So, Tapos yung one Newton... So, isipin mo, may taong pumihila for, to the right. So, so ang third law partner ay acting on that person pulling on, pulling the, 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 the sled. Kaya mo isipin, sled yan eh. Mabo. Kasi okay, yun, ngayon. Dama po siya. M1, tapos ang M2. Topologically equivalent. Hmm. Okay, ngayon. Tingnan, so, i-analyze na natin ngayon. So, assuming walang sliding, so what do we know about the acceleration if there's no sliding between the two? Mm, no sliding. For example, yung, yung sled nag-accelerate ng 3 meters per second square. Ano dapat acceleration ng mass na nakapatong? Uh, Pareho na Same acceleration. So, so we so ang ano, i-label lang natin na yung acceleration. So below that, use a double uh, a double uh, yung double-headed arrow for para in note na both are accelerating to the right with the same value. So A. So the, the label mo na A pareho. Kasi pag hindi totoo yung ano, pag may sliding na, mag hindi sa pareho na acceleration. We'll consider that case kapag may kinetic friction. Mamaya. So, tingnan mo natin. So, given given yung 1 Newton yung pull, well, uh, ano yung dapat na? No? So, let's use Newton's... Uh, ili, i, 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 sorry. I... So we have to calculate ngayon. So use Newton's laws to set up four equations. Kasi yung diagram natin may four equations. You can set up four equations, di ba? Okay, so your first equation is M1A equal, uh, M2A is equal to and, and then look at your free body diagram. FS. Okay, wala nang iba, di ba? So FS lang yan. Ngayon, that's for the... Ver so, tapos, yung zero yung acceleration niya, up and down. So, zero is equal to... For M1 naman. Yeah, Fn1. That was for M1. So M1A. Okay. Um, pwede nga, no? Instead of using 1 Newton, 
gumamit ka ng symbol na F up applied. Kasi so, titingnan natin mamaya we'll be using the same free body diagram. Pero this time babaguhin natin yung <clears throat> yung applied force. Yeah, so F applied. Okay, and then, so yun lang yung forces no? along with the horizontal. Yung vertical naman. Okay. Ngayon, tingnan natin. Ano ano yung mga unknowns dyan? F applied is known. The masses are known. So far, yung ibang forces at yung acceleration unknown. So, gamit ka ng highlighter para i-highlight yung A. Yellow. So, A kasi unknown yan. Yung FS is also unknown, actually. Kasi to be determined yan eh. And Norm then, yeah. yung normal forces, FN1. Okay. And then, yung, yung equations then to the, on the right. Highlight yung mga unknown. So F applied is known. So FS is unknown. A is unknown. So, yung A din, hindi pa natin alam yan eh, di ba? N2, N1. So, Fn2 and Fn1. Okay, the reason ginagawa ko yan ay, tingnan natin, ilang, uh, count the unknowns, how many are there? So, 1, 2, 3, 3, 4. Mm-hmm. Tapos, ilang equations meron? Di ba? So, sakto lang. Okay. So, it should be possible to solve for each of those A, F, S, F, N1, N2 by, in terms of M1, M2, G, and F applied. So, yan yung next step. So, we've now turned the free body diagrams into a mathematical problem system of four equations with four unknowns. So, pi solve ngayon. So, first, any acceleration? I think mas simple na compute for the acceleration first. There are only two equations that have acceleration. Tapos na yung Fs will cancel out. So, mahanap po siya. Okay. So, any acceleration? Set up uh, an expression in terms of the Okay, so, okay, so, so A is equal to, next, huwag mo nang mag-substitute. Kasi ang, ang idea niyan, paano kung bago-baguhin mo yung mass later? Paano kung bago-baguhin mo yung F applied? So, magagamit mo yung equations ulit. Kaya masabi natin na noon na to. Okay, so now that we know acceleration, ano yung Fs? So, malalaman nga po itong Fs din. So, okay. Fs must be? Ito. Time sa nobo. Uh, M2. Okay. No, na dalawa. Hmm, na ba? Here, Fn, the normal okay, Fn1. Oh, 
Okay. okay. And FN2. Substitution time. Yeah. Substitution time. Okay, so the force exerted by the ground onto M1 should be equal to yung the total weight. Na reasonable, di ba? Okay, so now that we have those values, pay compute ng yung ano, yung value ng FS. So, Fs must be, assuming no sliding, 1 newton times 1 newton, ay 1 kilogram, 1 plus 4 kilograms. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, this is... One fourth newtons. Or point twenty five. Mm -hmm. so okay, the... and ano naman yung ano yung f yung maximum static friction. Oh. So, so it's going to be mu mu sub s f n one. By ninety eight na mo point ninety eight newtons. So, 1 kilogram times 9.8, so 9.8 newtons times 0 0.1, 0 0.98. So, Fs max. So, so na, compute, pakita natin computation. Fs max is 0 0.98. Tapos, compare, yung static friction na compute natin is 0 0.25. So, that's less than. So, Fs is less than. Fs max, which means viable yen. So the frictional force is therefore really 0.25 newtons. So if that is true, the block does not move. Okay, so hindi siya, so hindi siya ga, so the block will not slide. And it's going to accelerate to the right. Any acceleration of both blocks? A is that. So, A, the A is uh, Fs over uh, 0.25 newtons over mass 2, that's 1 kilogram. F applied. What is F applied? Why is Fs? Uh, Inala ko po siya, parang dito mo, may over this M2 na lang. Kaya, gusto ko na yan o. So, F applied is 1 divided by 4. Okay, so 0.25. Tapos, units is meter per second square. Okay, does this accord with your experience with slibs? Pag may hinila ka, na ma yung acceleration mababa. It doesn't slide off, di ba? Lobo. Ngayon, kung ang ginamit kong force ay 100 newtons, what do you think will happen? Yung F applied. Yung mga ganun dito. Ah, uh, ilan mo? Wow, okay. Nice. Okay. So, so if F applied is equal to 100 newtons and dapat yung static friction para hindi siya mag-slide talagang ano pa sharp pull okay so this is uh... so fs is 100 times 1 divided by 3 ah, ah, by 4 So, 25 newtons yung kailangan. Na, 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 kailangan. So, pag ganyan yung situation, if I pulled it with 100 newtons, what will happen? The block will fall off. 
or it slides it slides off so parang this is parang is it like a the the opposite part inertia already ne ngayon tingnan natin yung ano in this case you think na mo yung free body diagram so let So, copy the, the free body diagrams. Nasaan yung free body diagram? So, akit tayo. Tapos mag new page tayo. I'll zoom out. Tapos on, copy mo lahat yan. So, ano mo? Ito mong this? Oh, everything there. This the free body diagram. So, free body diagram at saka yung mga labels. Kaya, lakihan mo yung, yung ano yung box para kukuha lahat including yung text yan test tapos on new page copy lahat okay copy lahat ah. new page copy and then paste okay ngayon sa situation na to pag 100 newtons na in apply natin magbabago yung free body diagram yung fs becomes fk kinetic na po siya o oh, kinetic friction na yan Tapos, Fs, so Fk is the frictional force. So, it's the frictional force. Tama yan. Tapos, also known as the kinetic friction. So, hindi na static. Are there other types of uh, friction? Yun lang naman yung kinakonsider natin. Eh. It's either static lang or kinetic. Tapos, tingnan natin. So, everything else will stay the same except yung acceleration, hindi na pareho. So, we can't assume that they have the same acceleration. So, I'll go back. So, use A1 and A2 para sa acceleration vector. So, we're expecting here na the block, the first block is actually from the from the direction of the kinetic friction. It should still accelerate to the right at the start. And then when it falls off, it stops accelerating. Ah, wait, it's still off. Accelerating. And then, when it falls off, wala ng contact, so wala ng kinetic friction. So, mag, so it's going to be moving at constant velocity. So, hindi sa pareho ng A. Tawagin mong A1. Talagang hindi sa pareho. So, while in contact, a1 and A2, and then ito yung free body diagrams. Pag natanggal na yung contact, tanggal yung FK. So, tanggal contact, wala siya. Baka kaya, di, kaya di kaya po kailangan ng isa pang free body diagram. Hindi. It's still going, to, uh, ang interest na natin ay while in contact. Mm, sige po. So, tapos ang i-assume na lang natin na yung M1, it's long enough so that may period na nagsaslide on the surface yung M2. Di ba? Hindi naman siya biglang babagsak from the sled. It's going to slide to the left. With respect to the sled. Actually, yung mangyayari niyan, with respect to the sled, the block is going to slide to the left. With respect to the ground, habang, habang in contact, Block 2, block 1 is still going to be sliding to the right. Diba? Umagalo, nag-accelerate pa rin yan to the right eh. Pero yung acceleration, ang expected, yung acceleration ng block 2 will be less, uh, block 1, block 2 yung nasa taas, diba? So yung acceleration ng block 2 will be less than the acceleration of block 1. Eh? Mm, so parang reference frames issue na po yung 
Uh, yung sasabing nagsaslide in what direction. Ngayon, ang nagbago dito, okay, pareho, so, tingnan natin, ano yung machi, so, copyin mo yung equations na sinetap mo. So, go up. Kasi, halos, halos pareho pa rin yung free body diagram, di ba? So, Newton's, by Newton's second law, to. Kailan mo, ah? Uh... Ano to? Hindi, uh... uh, as long as hindi mo makover ng buo yung text, hindi niya makakopya yan. Ina mo? Sa Super Junior. Ina mo? Ina mo? Tapos nang kukopy. Copy. Please. Yeah. So. What? So, copy and then paste. So, by... Tapos hindi natin, ano yung magbabago? So, M2, A2. At teka, ang gulo ng ano ah. Uh, pagpalitin mo yung labels ng acceleration, kasi gusto natin na yung A, yung subscript, nagmamatch dun sa sa subscript ng mass. So, go back to yung free body. Akit ng konti. Ayun eh. Hindi. Yan. So, yung A2 at saka A1, pagpalitin mo ng label. That's A2. This one should be A1. Kasi, kaya para nagmamatch. Acceleration of block 2, acceleration of block 1. So, FK. FK na siya. So crazy. My God, in this change. Okay. Tapos, M1, A1. Okay. So, and then everything else stays the same, no? Ngayon, Tingnan mo, kung count the number of knowns and unknowns. Uh, ilang unknowns yan? 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, Uh, so there's a relationship between FK and FA2 and a relationship between FK and A1. Right. Okay. So, yung FK mm-hmm. is equal to mu K. So, tingnan, tingnan natin yung, sana, yung first free body diagram. FK uh, okay. so, mer- mer- is mer- equal to mu K times N2K. So, F, uh, FN2 yung kinakit mo, no? Yan. So, pag may sliding na, yan yung actual na, yan yung actual na force. Yan na yung system na kailangan natin. Ang tricky, no? Tabo. Kaya siya, ano eh, kaya yung friction problems, pang, talagang pinanggugulo yan sa mga, sa first physics course eh. Kasi, may ganyang issues eh, na kailangan mong isipin, nagsaslide ba? Nagstop sliding ba? Kasi pag nagba, may mga situations na, let's say yung binigay sa'yo, may mga situations na, na yung accelerations nagbabago. Tapos mahaba yung surface. Kasi mo, conveyor belt. Paano ko yung problem eh, conveyor belt na mahaba? Tapos, ang, ang ano lang yan eh, yung acceleration ng conveyor belt, pwede mong bagubaguhin. So, tapos kailangan mong isipin ngayon. Okay, ano yung normal force ng conveyor belt? And then, 
uh, ano yung state of motion ng yung ano what if yung conveyor belt ay variable acceleration pwede naman di ba oh pwede na bagu-baguhin mo yung bagu-baguhin mo yung speed ng conveyor belt din nag-accelerate yun tapos may nakapatong yung object so depending on yung yung pag binabago-bago mo yung speed pwede mong paglaruan yung acceleration at pwede mong bagu-baguhin yung behavior ng box na nakapatong Okay, so let's now compute. Ano kaya yung uh, ano ano ngayon yung accelerations? Ano yung normal forces? Actually, yung normal forces muna. Kasi yun kailangan natin yun eh, di ba? And then after that get the accelerations. So, first ano yung FN1. FN1 is equal to FN1 is equal to uh that so i fn1 ah okay fn1 is equal to m2g okay so pa-isu that tapos yung fn2 naman okay Ngayon, yung FK naman is? Ngamo. FK is equal to MK. Ano mo? Ang mo, mo K. Times FN. Times. Yan. Tapos on. Tingnan nila. Pwedeng tingnan mo uli yung ano? Eh, Tiga, so, check ko lang ha. N2. Ano ba yung N2? FK is... Teka, pwede nga lang. Akit tayo sa free body diagram. Gusto ko lang i-check yung ano. Ah, hindi. F, I'm sorry. FK is equal to mu FN1, hindi FN2. Kasi yung, yung surface na in contact yung top ay yung, nor yung normal force due to the surface in, of contact is N1. Hindi N2. N2 is yung from the ground to the box, di ba? Mabo. Kaya siya, kaya siya magulo eh. Kaya... Sus mm -hmm. Okay, so FK is equal to mu K M2G. And then since alam natin yung mu K M2G, ano yung acceleration? A2. FK is equal to A sub 2 is mu KG. Tapos ano yung A1? Divided by... Okay. Ngayon, compute those numbers. So, FN1, M2 is still 1. Mm -hmm. Ayan pa na, 9.8. 4 kilograms. So, that's 36.8, 40.8. So, yeah, 9.8 times 4 is going to be, wait, parang mali. 9.8 9 times 4 is 39.2. So, 39.2. 
experience. And then mm -hmm. MP is equal to plus MK. Okay. Uh, yung given natin kanina ay 0 0.09. 0 0.09 uh, 3 ah uh, 1 dimensionless po yung um, yung coefficient mo uh -huh. so this is 0.82 times this is still 0.82 Mm-hmm. Yung A1. Over M1, that's 3 kilograms. Divided by 3. So that's 33.04. So 100 minus, ano ito? Uh, 0.882, no? Divided by 3. Okay, so 33 meters per second square. So it agrees with our intuition, di ba? If mas, mas malaki ang acceleration na nasa ilalim, mas mali yung acceleration na nasa taas. Kung once, so ito, while in contact, kapag nawala ng contact yung dalawa, yung acceleration ng, se, ng object sa taas, zero. So magka-constant velocity siya. Actually, yung ano, yung, yung, yung demos ko nun na inertia, in, na inertia na sasabihin, okay, may, may tablecloth, tapos merong nakapatong na object, tapos hin, tin, mabilis na hinila, parang hindi gumala yung object, di ba? Tama. Hin, hindi, talaga, to, hindi talaga tama yun. Ang, tama, ang, 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 nangyari lang, ang nangyari lang, yung contact time masyadong maliit, so that hindi significant yung may kita mo na change in velocity. Pero in reality po, it really moved. Yeah, it really moved. Pero kasi pwede mong timplahin yung forces eh. Lakihan mo pa yung force. Yung oscillation, delete and delete, di ba? Tabo. So, kaya hindi, tapos delete yung, ano, yung oscillation, for example, for this one, pag nilakihan mo yung applied force, yung acceleration ng second object lalaki. The bigger the acceleration of the second object, the smaller the contact time with the object on top. Mas maliit the contact time, less time for friction to act. So, kaya kita mo yung ano, kaya yung tablecloth demonstration, kailangan tayo mabilis yung, mabilis yung paghili eh para ma-minimize yung contact time. Okay? So, that analysis will also cover yung tablecloth experiment, yung, yung tablecloth demo. Alright? So, we'll stop here. Tapos, ang ano, basahin mo yung mga kasunod na sections and then attempt. So, kung an ano naman yan,